Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I am Leliti and we talk about money and general lifestyle issues in this channel. As per today's topic, we'll be talking about tips for video interviews. The world as you know it has changed and keeps on changing, but rightfully so because the only thing that is constant in life is change. And our survival as human beings and also wild animals and other animals depends on our adaptability to change. If you happen to have a choice on the process, whether to interview in person or to have it over the internet, then maybe interviewing in person would be a better option. But if you have no choice whatsoever on that, then these tips are supposed to help you so that you stand just as much a chance in getting the job as you would have had if you were to interview in person. On to our first tip. Dress as you would have dressed if you were to interview in person. Well, there is a temptation to be laid back because you are in your house, in a comfortable place, in a hotel or a place of your choice where you it is in your domain so you are very comfortable in that place so there's a um, temptation for you to be laid back and just relaxed but resist that temptation and dress as you would have dressed if you were to interview in person and do your hair if you are to touch up your makeup then do it as you would have done if you were to interview in person don't be all made up face bit and it is an interview just go and dress professionally as you would have this is an interview as any other so it is best that you just go as you would have gone you you are you do it you attend it as you would have gone if it were in person the second tip is to test your audios and your visuals beforehand if you are getting new audios and soft new hardware and softwares to assist you in the interview process then you should get them beforehand some few days before so that you have ample time to test them out and to check whether they are adaptable to to the gadgets that you'll be using and also for you to be more familiar to get more familiar with them so that it eases the process of the interview and do not be working with new gadgets and new softwares that you're not aware of you can reach out to the interview and check the software that they will be use, using so that you can download them and you can play around with them and ensure that you are comfortable with them by the time you sit down for that interview. Also on the same point, set up your camera so, such that it is at eye level so that you are not looking up to them or down on them so that it is, on, it is at eye level. Also use your earphones so that it improves your audio, it gives a higher quality audio and make sure that you voice it, it is not so soft or too loud but it is just, it is audible enough for them and also comfortable for you to project. The third tip is check your connectivity beforehand. You do not want to be surprised by buffering or slow speed internet on that day ensure that your connectivity is at a top a comfortable speed so that it is comfortable for you and you are comfortable seated there you know that the way they are pro you're projecting yourself that you are bringing out the best and the internet is also working in your favor it is bringing out your the best in you test this on your friends and family and let them give you feedback on what they are saying and what to improve and Ensure that you are comfortable with the speed before you even sit down for that interview. The fourth point is to build a rapport with the interviewer or the interviewers. As much as this is not a physical interview, a rapport is still as important if not more important. Since this one is an online thing and they are not able to see you as they would have seen you in person, then the way to do this is through your eyes. Like, get enough sleep beforehand and come there com comfortable and ready. don't look disinterested, sleepy, or you're just minding your business instead of being engaged in the interview. Smile at them and if you can get their names, then address them by their names. Focus on the camera so that on the camera lenses so that they see you looking at them and that you're maintaining eye contact through the interview. It is very important because if you disengage, they'll also disengage and they also have as many disruptions or distractions in their homes or wherever they are as you may have so if you are disengaged 
just a little bit they will also engage in other activities because they are at home they are in other places it's not personal it's not in in person so they can also be disengaged if you disengage so if you can you can get their build a rapport you can get the attention and you maintain it to the end of the interview then this will work best for you and increase your chances of getting the job the fifth point is punctual punctuality this may not be a physical interview so you will not be required to be there at least 10 minutes early because logging in too early may mean that they are still in there in the chat room preparing or planning the interview so it is not advisable that you log in too early but about five minutes beforehand that would be a safe time so that you log in and you get comfortable and you can breathe before the interview actually starts so don't don't, don't log in too early log in about five minutes beforehand and when it is done log out promptly like just log out promptly because they may need to score your interview or they need to go through your your interview just give them ample time by logging out promptly now with all this well said and done the other things that you can just you can do so that you improve your chances and that you are also comfortable while during the in doing the interview one of those is find a quiet place if you're living with family or you have pets around ensure that they are away or the kids that someone takes them away for the mean for the duration of the time that we'll be interviewing so that they don't come running around or they distract you while you're inter in the midst of the interview ensure that your background is clear of distractions and distractions you want the interviewer to be focusing on you and not on the painting behind you and thinking whether it is a mona lisa whether it is real or fake or there's a bit running behind you just let it be clear of disruptions and distractions if to as much as you you can just keep it bare and with minimal or no disruptions if you can help it maintain eye contact with the interview as i have said earlier by focusing on the lenses of the camera play around with the lighting and find the best spot for you that works for you and that brings out you want the interviewer to see the the best version of you so find the best place for your lighting which he favors you the most if you can find natural lighting that would be best for you but if you can't then just light up the house switch on the lights and ensure that you're visible and also your background is 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 lit up as well the other thing is to research and prepare for the interview as you would have prepared if you were to go in person you don't want to be rambling when you sit there and they're asking you a question and you can't even answer it's like you just took it too casual just prepare for it as you would have prepared for a physical interview also set questions that you need to ask the interviewer because this one it brings out it shows that you are interested and you actually did your research it is it also shows that you value yourself and you know your worth and you are asking on so that you can check your compatibility with the company because sometimes you want to work for a company because of what you've heard about them but when you actually get a chance to question them you get, you find out that the ideologies and their vision does not even go with does not align with your own ideologies so it is something that you would not even consider taking so guys thank you for watching and i wish you all the best inter in your interviews and i pray that you get the jobs thank you for watching and kindly subscribe